Hello everybody, this is DJ Rude, and uh, today we're going to talk about recording your CDs or copying your CDs to your hard drive for the purpose of using them for your DJ sets. Um, I've got thousands, uh, literally thousands of CDs, and uh, you know, because I, I went from vinyl back in the day and got rid of my vinyl collection, and then I transferred everything and I got CDs, uh, and I spent thousands and thousands of dollars on CDs. So. Uh, but now this is digital age, you know, I'm a microwave DJ, I use Serato and Virtual DJ. Uh, I really don't care, you know, the connotations that people put, you know, on uh, computer DJs or microwave DJs. I really don't care. You know, I roll with the times. They can stay with vinyl, they can stay with CD, but I'm going to rip this CD right here to my hard drive so I can use it as a microwave DJ with Serato and or Virtual DJ. So, uh, what we have is the digital, digital underground. Sons of the P. This is an old school original CD that I got back in the day because I don't play around. I got the real stuff, baby girl. So, what we're going to do is we're going to use Pyro Audio Creator made by Cakewalk. I'm going to click on that and open it up. And we're going to rip it straight to the hard drive. Now, I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can get kind of an idea if you can see here what it is. There's a list of six things here. You've got burner, ripper, encoder, tagger, editor, and publisher. Now this program is really, really uh, a great program because you can not only just use it for ripping CDs, but you can publish your own music that you've recorded. Uh, you can tag, encode, edit, and publish. You know, and burn right to a CD, whatever, whatever it is that you're doing. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up the laptop and we're going to drop the CD in. Okay. Sons of the P Digital Underground. Now, we're going to choose from the second on the list. It's the Ripper. And that'll open it up. Let the disk initialize in the system here. Takes a minute or so. And there it is. Now, the first thing that's going to pop up is this here. And what this is, is it's your computer initiating the disk. It's asking you basically what do you want to do with it. Uh, and you know, I've got anything from Winamp to Windows Media Player, and uh, but we don't want to do that. I don't want to play it. I want to record it or rip it to the hard drive. So we're going to close that out. The only thing you need to be concerned with is this window right here. Okay? So, with that said, uh, we need to make sure that we're going to rip them in the proper format. Now, I use Virtual DJ and Serato, but since I use Virtual DJ for the most part over Serato, uh, I have a benefit that Serato doesn't offer. I can play FLAC files. And FLAC files, what those are, those are free lossless audio codec. And they're superior to MP3 because they're lossless. That means that their audio is completely clean and clear and uncompressed. Even a 320 kilobyte uh, per second MP3 is compressed, therefore uh, you can tell, if, if you're an audiophile like me, you can tell the difference. You know, there's a lot of uh, different, uh, there's pieces of the information missing from the music and I can tell you know there's definitely relics and things like that that you know the average person can't tell but I can so that's why I can appreciate FLAC because it's so similar to a WAV file and WAV files are what make up a CD a CD is comprised of you know between 10, 15, 18 WAV files where an MP3 you can put 150 on one disc on the same disc 800 to 750 to megabyte 750 to 800 megabyte disc can hold 150 MP3s, but only 15 WAV files. But with FLAC, you can fit about 100 because they're not compressed and there's very little loss. Uh, it's, actually, it's considered lossless, so I use FLAC files. So in that sense here, what we're going to do is we're going to go into options up at the top, if you can see that. Let me try to zoom in a little bit. Probably not going to do a whole lot of good, but it's really a shame because let me see here. It's probably free, but okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna uh, we're in naming right now. First of all, I want to make sure that my, you know, the everything's gonna come out as far as track and artist, artist and title. That's all I want. I don't care about anything else. Artist and title is the main thing that I'm gonna be looking for when um, searching through the search bar in Serato or in Virtual DJ. So. It's already done there. Everything's good. I'm going to make folder names using album because I'll have multiple albums of the same artist. So I don't want to, you know, have separate albums uh, with the same artist. I want to have only 
one folder with all the albums of the same artist, if that makes sense to you. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and click uh, encoding, the encoding tab. Now up here, I've got it set to FLAC, which is Free Lossless Audio Codec. Now you can choose anything from MP3, WMA, AIFF, which is Apple, AU, uh, CAF, Apple Core Audio File, FLAC, Free Lossless Audio Codec. You've got RAW, Headerless, SD2, Sound Design, uh, W64, Sony Wave 64, and Wave by Microsoft. Uh, but a lot of people like MP3, you know, especially if you're using Serato, you have no choice, you know, for now. Uh, what I would do, because, you know, hard drives are so inexpensive now that uh, space is really not an issue. So, uh, choose MP3, and do not click variable bit, rate, variable bit rate, because like I said, we don't need to worry about space. So, you've got choices on your variable, uh, on your constant bit rate, from 320 kilobytes per second down to 32. So, but, you know, if you're going to do MP3, then choose 320 always. You know, you should uh, make sure that you have a hard drive big enough to, to uh, you know, to hold all these files. If you don't, then 192 is probably the lowest that I would even consider. But since I don't have to worry about that, I've got plenty of hard drive space, and I've got an awesome program like Virtual DJ. I can play FLAC files, you know, through my computer, uh, you know, with uh, my hard drive full of FLAC files. So I'm going to go ahead and click back down to FLAC, and it's uh, signed 16-bit PCM. Click OK. Okay, now the only thing I have to worry about now is I've already got my uh, artist and titles of all the songs listed uh, because what it does is it actually, with the minute you put your CD in, it searches uh, what used to be called CDDB, which is a, a compact disc database, you know, a list of all the albums ever made, that's, well, anything that's within their database. Now it's called Grace Note. And if it doesn't come up automatically, you can click Get CD Info. Every once in a while, I'll have an obscure CD that doesn't have the info, and uh, you can usually find it online separately and type in the info, or if you already know it, there you go. But, you know, 95% of the time, you're going to find everything you need right here. Uh, in this case, it's all here. So, uh, everything looks good, everything looks clean, and we're ready to go. So, uh, the last thing you need to do is browse. Click the browse, which is right here. Uh, what I want to do, have I ha ever had a Digital Underground CD? I've got a bunch of Digital Underground singles, so they're not in a folder, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new folder. Now, like I said, I've got four hard drives. The internal, which is only used strictly for the program, Virtual DJ and Serato, I don't use it for anything else because I don't want to tie up the resources of the computer, so I use an external hard drive, one for music, one for music video, one for karaoke. So H is my music that's the drive letter. I'm going to click on that. It's under DJ Rude Music. And now I'm going to create a new folder. And it's going to be called Digital Underground. So I'm going to go ahead and type that in. Okay. Normally, like on something like this, because I've got so many things categorized, I would have put it under 90s hip hop. But in this case, I'm not going to go through all that. I'm just going to put it under, uh, just straight up under DJ Rude Music. And uh, if I want to, you know, convert it and put it in a separate folder for hip hop later, I will do that. But for right now, we put Digital Underground. All I got to do now is click OK and rip the disc. And that concludes. You know, within five minutes, the whole thing will be done uh, ripping, and uh, I can continue. Uh, you know, ripping the, the rest of my collection. Now, what I do sometimes, too, is uh, I'll get, uh, during a gig, somebody will bring up a CD because I won't have it or whatever. It's me, do you have it? No, I don't. I've got the CD. I'll actually rip it straight to my hard drive. There's nothing wrong with doing that. Um, you, I, typically, you don't have to ask the person, but, you know, uh, for morality's sake, I'd say, you know, hey, I'm, do you mind if I rip it to my hard drive? And I would say nine times out of ten, they're going to say, go for it. So, uh, that way you have it for later. So, anyways, uh, that concludes our little episode here of how to rip your CD collection to your hard drive for uh, the purpose of using your uh, CDs for MP3s or FLAC files and to play on Serato Virtual DJ. So, um, I've got, like I said, thousands and thousands of CDs, and uh, I've ripped them all to my, uh, to my hard drives. And so, therefore, you know, anything from 
you know, the path that anybody needs, I've got. Uh, and I continue to keep up with my collection on a day-to-day -day basis. So, you know, you try to have everything that uh, anyone needs. And uh, if you need to rip your CD collection, consider buying Cakewalk uh, Pyro Audio Creator. This is DJ Root. Thanks for watching. Peace and keep spinning.